52 right now, humidity at 66%. The winds are light out of the west northwest, single digits. And then that freeze warning does go into effect for Orange as well as Putnam counties, even a little sliver of New Jersey, Passaic. And then the rest of the surrounding areas, there are some frost advisories in place. And then nice finish to the weekend that will warm right back up in the 60s. And then showers, yeah, the question is will they affect trick or treaters? Let's take a look now at our satellite and radar. High pressure increase control and we are tracking this area of low pressure here this is the culprit this is what we're watching let's see how things advance so it looks like as it stands the good bulk of Monday will be dry it looks like the threat increases as we head into the later hours we're talking after about five to about seven I'm looking at showers maybe even holding off in some locations until about nine so we'll have a closer look but get out there early lingering showers on Tuesday I say the best Best chance for rain will be any time after 7, a greater chance after 9, and then clearing out Tuesday morning. And we're tracking this low just off to the southwest. It's going to dip further south. We have this high that's going to keep things nice and dry. We do have a return flow that we're tracking that'll bump those temperatures up. We're talking Tuesday, Wednesday, approaching 70. And then this cold front, we're keeping a close watch on that. That's not until later on next weekend into early next week, right? So here's what we anticipate in terms of our rainfall totals. Not much of anything come Monday. As a matter of fact, a trace amount across much of the area. But again, these models may update and we'll bring you the latest. We'll have our eye on things. We do have our eye on these winds and take a look Look at the shift eventually becoming more southwest. Those winds will stay light for the next few days. So as we head into Tuesday, that's what I'm talking about. Temperatures really approaching that 70 degree mark. And then we do have a little bit of a shift come Wednesday. And despite that shift, we're still anticipating highs in the upper 60s, low 70s. Right now, 40s and 50s. We are going to leave you with the seven-day forecast. Soak that all in. Back over to you, Kaidi. Okay.